Welcome to Electron Online and now let's talk about the natural exponential function. Well, it uses the natural number e as the base. So again, the general form or the standard form for an exponential function is that y or f of x is equal to some constant raised to the independent variable x. Now this constant is in this case e. What is e? Well, e is a natural number. It's a number that exists in nature. It's a number that indicates how fast things grow in nature. We'll get into that in just a little bit more. So let's find the mathematical definition of e, then let's work with and get a feel for what it is, and then soon you can see why we use the natural exponential function rather than just any exponential function when we talk about growth. So e mathematically can be defined as the limit as n approaches infinity of the quantity 1 plus 1 over n raised to the n power. So what would that number be? Well it turns out there's no exact value for that number. We can get very close to the number by working this expression out for very very large values of n. So let's go ahead and see how that, how that works when we plug in values for n in this particular situation. So the first thing we're going to do is plug in 1 for n, so we get 1 plus 1 over 1, that would be 2, raised to the 1 power, well 2 to the 1 power is equal to 2. So a closed approximation is that when n equals 1, e equals 2. So let's continue this. What if n is equal to 10? Well, 10 plus 1 over 10 raised to the 10 power is equal to, oh, it would be <laughs> 1 plus 1 over 10 raised to the 10 power is equal to, well, that would be 1.1 raised to the 10 power. Well, let's see what we get when we do that. Again, we need a calculator for that. So 1.1 raised to the 10 power is equal to 2.59. All right, 2.59. Continuing, let's say that we have 1 plus 1 over 100 raised to the 100 power, that would be 1.01 raised to 100 power, 1.01 raised to the 100 power, and we get 2.70, 2.70. Continuing, now let's grab a thousand, so we have 1 plus 1 over a thousand raised to the 1000 power, so we get 1.001 raised to the 1000 power, and we get 2.72. 2.72. Oh well, I'm going to now keep more significant figures. So let's write a 2.716929292. Okay. Now let's go ahead and plug in 10,000. So 1 plus 1 over 10,000 raised to the 10,000 power is equal to so 1.0001 raised to the 10,000 power is equal to, so now we get 2.718146. All right, continuing, now we're going to plug in a million. So we have 1 plus 1 over a million raised to the 1 million power is equal to, all right, so we have 1 Point zero 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 one raised to the one zero 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 equals good thing we have these calculators so otherwise it would be a long job trying to figure that out so two point seven one eight two eight and so forth so this becomes very close to the number e that we typically use in any sort of mathematics Sometimes we don't, well, typically we don't use quite that many decimal places, but the number is 2.718, uh, 2.718, and so forth. So you can see that it's not a repeating decimal, it's, it's just like the number pi, there's no particular way in which we can predict what the numbers are, we simply have to calculate it. But now we have a pretty good value what the constant E is equal to. It is a constant. So when we graph that function, you can then say that if we graph on the y-x-axis, here we have the function y is equal 2 to the x, and then we draw the function that looks like this, y is equal to 3 to the x. You can then see that y equals e to the x would fall somewhere between those two values. So you can then see that y is equal to e to the x would be a function that looks kind of like this. 
it would be closer to y equals 3 to the x because obviously you can see that y is equal to e to the x e is a number closer to 3 than it is to 2 so the function would look something like that now again what's so special about that function well it turns out that things in nature such as bacteria even the human populations or any kind of increase that increase exponentially in nature even money in the bank increases according to the exponential function y equals e to the x and so therefore because most things in nature or most things like money in the bank or anything else increases according to that natural exponential function when you hear the expression exponential growth or exponential functions they don't necessarily say natural exponential functions but they typically mean the natural exponential function so when you hear exponential function they probably are talking about y equals e to the x and sometimes we have other functions that describe growth exponentially that don't involve the natural number e but quite often it does so we'll show you a few more examples of how we deal with the natural exponential function what it is how to calculate it how to represent it mathematically to get a better feel for what that is anyway there's your introduction to what we call the natural exponential function